benvenuti alla conferenza stampa di presentazione to this di press conference for the presentation of Moise Kane. Kane. As usual, please introduce yourself and the media you represent and ask one question at a time. So let's start with JTV. Hello Moise, I would like to ask you about your emotions to come back here, basically where you grew up, and what did you feel when you were again in the black and white jersey? Well, wearing the black and white jersey has always given me lots of emotions, so coming back uh, has been the right choice, and I'm ready for this new challenge. Hello, Giovanni Albanese, Sport Italia. So you often spoke about your, your special relationship with Mr. Grabby. So what about the values and principles that you learned when you were in the youth sector at Juventus and that were particularly useful to you when you were away from Turin? And then if you can give any advice to your uh, colleagues that are in the youth sector. Well, of course, Mr. Grabby has always been very close to me and has always been uh, giving me great advice, more than a coach. He has been a father to me, so he, he gave me important advice. So I'm really, really recognize his value and I really pay tribute to him. So, Giacola Belice, calciomercato.com. So, I would like to know how much you have changed since you left and how much have you found Juventus changed? Well, first of all, I feel very fortunate and blessed because uh, uh, as a young boy, as a boy of my age, I had the possibility to play many different leagues in England and in France as well. So, certainly, I've come back with... Uh, more experience eh, and uh, this has molto helped molto me a lot, lot. so I'm now ready to give a hundred percent to the team. Hello Ken, so you just talked about this experience that you have gained, so what did you learn at Everton in Premier League and also the experience you had at PSG, so something that uh, you, you bring with you of these two different experiences, well certainly these were two great experiences, really amazing, where I learned a lot of different things and uh, and as I said before, I'm really fortunate from this point of view because I had the opportunity to learn several things about football that I didn't know. And now I'm here, as I pointed out, to give a hand to a great club like Juventus. Hello, Moise and Nicola Gallo, the Amazon. So I would like to ask you when this opportunity started. So what about the origins of this context? So maybe just in the last days of the transfer market or much earlier than that. And the fact that you arrived in a moment where Ronaldo left. So do you think it's a great responsibility, a burden on your shoulder? Well, it's not a burden, actually. As I have already said, I'm here to help and to give a helping hand to the whole team because this is the team where I grew up. I was raised here, so I spent a very beautiful moments here. So I don't really feel... I mean, basically, I'm, I'm here to play, of course, and uh, give my 100%, and I don't really feel any responsibility or any burden. Uh, well, uh, but, of course, I, the, the responsibility I have is that I'm wearing the black and white, the Juventus jersey, so that's why I will be uh, giving my 100%. So, what about uh, Allegri? So, how did you find him back here and what he's uh, been asking you? And this 442 and 443. So, what about the transformation of Juventus in the attack? Well, I have found a team with lots of young players, but uh, also quite experienced. And this is a very positive thing indeed. So, the team, well, hasn't started in the best possible way, but but uh, uh, we are Juventus and so we have a great uh, objectives uh, and I'm very, really confident uh, that we will be able to bring home remarkable results and then uh, reach our targets. Hello Moise, welcome back. So when you left uh, the words you said probably already uh, betrayed the fact that you wanted to come back, so uh, was just a temporary goodbye, so did you expect to come back? And have you set a particular number of goals to score as you are a forward? Well, as I said before, Juventus has always been in my heart, and, uh, you know, it's always been my family, it's always been in my heart because they really helped me a lot, they supported me a lot, and they gave me the opportunity to uh, 
let me be known by all the others. So no, I've not really decided a number of goals, but of course, if I score as much as possible, it's always very nice, but uh, I hope to give my contribution uh, to the team and then of course, uh, look, uh, being ambitious and uh, try to reach our targets. So Fabiana Della Valle, so talking about goals you already scored against Milan and you're going to play against Milan on Sunday. So how you're going to prepare these match and what about your match? memories of that match so what has changed uh, since then well uh, that was an unforgettable night indeed and we played an excellent match and now as I said before the past is the past uh, we can't just uh, focus on the past anymore and uh, if we just focus on the past we can't go ahead uh, so instead we need to move on and so on Sunday we're expecting a, a great match and we'll be doing our best of course Good afternoon, Moise, Domenico Marchese della Repubblica. So I would like to ask you how important was uh, Allegri in your choice to come back, your decision to come back, also because it was the coach that basically launched you in the, in the top football, in great football. And uh, what changes uh, have you found in him? So how did you find Allegri back here, maybe better or worse? So what, what about your uh, impressions? Well, Mr. Allegri, is always a person that uh, always aims at top uh, uh, objectives, is always a set of uh, uh, great objectives, and he taught me a lot, especially when I uh, left uh, Juventus, so I certainly learned a lot from him, and I'm sure that he will be supportive, he will really help us a lot, uh, and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing great, as usual. I'm, I'm really very confident. Hello, Moise, calciomercato.it. So I would like to ask you if you already had this possibility to come back to Juventus last year, and um, if maybe other clubs were looking for you. Well, as I have already said, I've always had Juventus in my heart because wearing these uh, jersey always gives great emotions. So I had the opportunity to come back here and as soon as I had this opportunity, I, I uh, really decided immediately and uh, it was no brainer basically. I made this choice and I came back here straight away. Are there any other questions? Yes, please. Marina Salvetti, Tutto Sport. I would like to ask you, so you, basically you were raising at Juventus and uh, you were the boy of records. So now you're no longer a boy, but you're a young man. So what can you give to this new Juventus? What about your contribution? Well, um, I'm pretty confident that whenever you wear the Juventus jersey, you have to sweat a lot and uh, give a hundred percent to the club and to the team and uh, bring important results home so now it's up to us to do our best and to give the contribution to the whole team and then reach our major goals so what happened on Saturday evening on the occasion of that goal? Maybe there was a, a, a ball that you didn't expect uh, to, to touch. Well, on Saturday, I wasn't uh, very lucky, actually, in uh, bouncing back the uh, ball. And unfortunately, the referee whistled and then the match uh, ended. Uh, and uh, now we obviously hope uh, to reach uh, our objectives. We have uh, great objectives. So we played against Malmo and uh, these uh, has really given us back uh, uh, the confidence we needed also to play the uh, match on Sunday. Okay, thank you very much. And I would like to call Federico Cherubini and Marisa Rivabene for the usual picture with the jersey.